Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. 2651, Cherry and West. We got a domestic call in progress. We got a third party call in. They said uh, 26. Be continuing code. They got a male and a female in a verbal. They gave us a cross street. They didn't give us exact numerical of where it's at, but they said they're now fighting out across the road. So we gotta hurry up and get there and see what we got. Where are you bleeding from, ma'am? Where are you bleeding from? I don't want to be touched. Okay, just. Where is the person who got, made you bleed? Right there on the right. And he punched you in the face. Yep. What's going on, man? Why is she bleeding? Why is she bleeding? She's not nothing to her. Huh? It's him. ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Do you want to speak? She's bleeding out of her mouth, her nose. I didn't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about that. You're sweating like you've been fighting. You come out, you don't want to work with us. I'm trying to be a man, there's nothing wrong. Hell with this guy. You said you had a tape? Yes, a surveillance tape around here. Where he come in my yard chasing her and I stepped out with a machete after the third time, third or fourth time he beat up on her. He was chasing her? Yeah, she come over here and I stepped out and I'm like, look, I pull my machete out and I'm like, get off my property. Mm. And he comes up and mm, grabs me by the throat, slaps it out of my hand. If I wanted to mm. cut him, I would have cut him. You always have this running out front? Most of the time, when I'm not here, it's on, and at night, it's on. And they actually came up into your yard? Yeah, right there where she's standing up. Okay. Okay, that's where I, that's, there we go. Okay, that's where she was over here before. He just chased her back that way. Because it's been going, it's been going on for like an hour. My wife's the one that called. Like I said, I knew it was going on. It's been going on for a while. So I set my machete here and machete there. I'm mm -hmm. disabled. Right. And I was going to let him come on my property and start the crap. And I saw him chasing way. you. Why was he chasing you? He was chasing her. And why did he come up after you? That because I stepped in between them. Okay. See, he slapped it out of my hand, and I was walking over here to grab my second one. I was going to do some damage then, then he turned around and walked off. Okay. So. Okay. You want to have video. That's what you want to press charges as well? What if she presses charges, I'll press charges. She, well, she has no choice. It's a domestic, but. Uh, yeah, I'll press charges. This is the one he knocked this out of your hand? he still got his fingerprints on And they came at you with? Yes. Okay. Because it was going on so far, I laid one up here. I grabbed him out of my tent, put one up there, laid one on the hood of the car because he's okay. been chasing her everywhere. Right, I, I saw. Said, if you come over here, I'm going to put a stop to it. Mm -hmm. He come over here and I figured out, oh, I stepped out with a machete. And that this he is the one saying, that you grabbed secondly for defense? I didn't get my hands on it yet. Oh, you, okay. I saw you run from him when he came at you with this one. All right. You want to take it for fingerprints? Uh, if you would, leave it there for a moment. I'm probably going to come back okay. and collect that for evidence. Okay. okay. This is your chance to give me your side. <coughs> right now, all we have to go on is them. If I get your story, that gives me something else to go on. How about tell a woman, all right, you want to get my story? Yes. Tell a woman to argue against me. How about that? Would that be fine? Not Talk. to argue against me. I need no <laughs> argument, man, for real. That's all that happened tonight was an That's argument? Right. Leave me peace. That's all right. All right, sir, I see you're not going to want to work with us too well. 
All right, if you would, real quick, just, uh, and then we got here, you guys are on opposite sides of the streets. What was going on? No, no, I got back from going to Lakewood to go see a girlfriend of mine. And it took a while because Crest Heaven Light and Harry Hill Lights, they're, they're not working. So I'm backed up in traffic. I call my daughter and tell my daughter, I'm on my way. Just let him know I'm on my way. I was going to stop at the store. And he's like, oh, he got on the phone. He's like, oh, you're messing around on me. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm going, I'm seeing a girlfriend. I'm on my way back. And then I hung up the phone on him. And as soon as I got back here, he started yelling at me. And he started hitting me and punching me for no reason. And I'm like, what are you hitting me for? And then he was like, he goes, oh, he goes, you're messing around on me. And I'm like, no, I'm not. He's all drunk. He's been drinking all day. He's been drinking liquor all day long. I don't know what's wrong with him. For no reason, he just started flipping out. And then that's when he started hitting me. He goes, well, I want to talk to you. And I went in the house and he just grabbed me by my throat and he started punching me for no reason. That's it. I'm done with it. My mom died from stuff like this. Mm -hmm. She got killed in front of me from domestic violence. And I'm not going to die and leave three kids and my kids behind. Not doing it. He can go. He can dip. He can go where he wants. What job were you trying to tell me? I, I can't hear you, man. What y'all been trying to tell me what happened to her for her? What? Is anything wrong? Do you know why you're going to jail right now? I'm going to explain to you real quick. First one is domestic battery. Okay, she's your girlfriend. You live with her. You hit her in the face several times. We have someone who saw it. She's bleeding all over the place. The second one is when she ran for help up to a neighbor, you punched the neighbor in the face, took a machete from him, wait, 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 and chased him neighbor? with the machete. My neighbor. Ask this my neighbor. neighbor. I punched you in the face. Listen. That bitch put a machete at me instead, man, for real. Why would I do that? You were chasing a female up into his yard. She's looking for help. You came up in there. He pulled a machete to defend himself. You punched him in the face, took the machete, and who chased him with it. Who did put you in the face? The neighbor. Ask him. Call him. He's right over there. Ask him. Ask him. Man, for real, ask him. You're the I didn't do whatever you're trying to tell me. The best part about exactly, that is, man. the best part way. about that is, there's a videotape. I saw the whole videotape and it's going to evidence, so you're going to see it at your trial. Man, man, come on, man. I saw the whole thing. Okay, Ernie? So you're going to be spending some time in jail. Been on the job here in Palm Springs for three years now. I've been a police officer out here. Originally from San Diego, Oceanside, North San Diego County. Worked at the police department out there for a year and a half as a civilian. Really enjoy this job. Learned so much. My parents support me doing this. I'm an only child. Nobody in my family has been in law enforcement before, so I guess I'm the pioneer in this. We're responding to a uh, domestic disturbance between two transients that live here in the city. They're a uh, constant nuisance. They're always drunk, and supposedly they're going to be running out in traffic, so we're going to kind of check the area for them and see if we can locate them. He's uh, quite a nuisance. It's supposedly his new wife, who I'm not familiar with, that he's uh, fighting with. I guess they've been dealing with him all week downtown in the city. 15, I'll be out with him on the uh, east side of the Amato Center. East side of the Amato Center. Sammy, what's going on? Heard you were fighting with your girl. Spaghetti, we got pie. 15. Yeah. 15, go ahead. You're taking the jail? Sammy, what's going on, bud? I want to get out of here. How much has she had to drink today? <laughs> How much has she had to drink today? I don't know. Anything what's her name? Is she a uh, patron here, or is she a patron here? We just, we just finished eating. Okay. I want to go to Las Vegas. I can't stand Las Vegas. I give away everything and everybody hates me. I need my inhaler. Go get your inhaler. Come on. I'm smoking. I got to get out of here. You're, you're lying on the ground in a very because nice restaurant. Those people are smoking and I need my inhaler. I'm allergic to secondhand smoke. I have COPD. That punk over there quit smoking on August 3rd. I just want to get out Marianne, of town. Marianne, get up. Let's well, walk fine. to the sidewalk. Let's go. Let me get my purse. He's I got it for you. Inhaler. Wait a minute. It's in my fish kit. Let's go to the sidewalk and look for it. Maybe if she's just drunk, uh, you know, if she cools down the station for a couple right. hours, Let's that'll go to help. She doesn't drink. She doesn't drink. You said she drank something today. No. Sam, we're going to put you on the bus. you got to, like, hang out there. No way! We'll take the sun glass. Here. No way! Don't arrest us. Wait, back up. Hey, run! Sammy, tell her, tell her what's up. All right. Sammy, are you going to take care of her? Yeah. Come on. Oh, he's going to take care of me? I got all the money. You want to take care of you? Oh, I don't want to go to jail. All is right. that a Glock? It is. You want to take care of you or them take care of you? It's up to you. Why don't you go with your husband? 
You'd rather go Sammy than us, oh, wouldn't you, any day? Head. Give me a kiss. Well, let's say he picked me, but you, I don't want to get by you. Let's uh, go. Uh, <laughs> all right. Bye-bye, Marianne. Sammy, the bus station's over this way. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't care. He's one of our local drunks. He's not too bad today. She's just out there. That's she, unbelievable. He said she doesn't drink, although he said she had something to drink today. Unbelievable. She's so up and down with her moves. So. No, don't jaywalk. <laughs> oh, is she going to get in the car? I won't do that. Don't worry, I wouldn't take your car. Come Sit on, down. you guys have a sister. Sister Gilbert, come on. She was just kidding me. Come on, you guys. We were leaving right now. Let go. Oh, that's how it took Sammy, you guys. Sammy, can we find out what's going on? Come on. She was, we were just kidding, you guys. Oh. Sammy, behind your back. For now. Sammy, come on. All right. Yeah. Tell Film the tell do, 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 do. Husband and wife thing. Oh, Family oh, night at the jail. Go. All the cops at the donut shop you, say, you well, do do, 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 do. It's right. raining men. Hallelujah. I'm not a lesbian. Is it, is it vodka that sets you off or what? Sit down. No, the police do. Oh, Sit down. She was just you know, I'm trying to watch your language. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Shut up. Marianne, what? you need to calm down right now, okay? You need a new hairdo. Uh, come on. I need a new hairdo, no, okay. Right. You can't go into our cars and touch the buttons. What are you guys thinking of the jail? We were just kidding. That, that's not a joke, okay? I'll take him. Let me see your eyes, son. You're not drunk, let me see your eyes. We're not drunk. She's not drunk. Follow back and forth. There you go. Good. Don't move you. Um, keep it out there for a while as we go back and forth. Who's the governor of this state? Uh, Arnold's that Austrian. I'm going to impeach you. Do you want to harm yourself? Kill? No. You don't you want to kill yourself? No. Okay, why were you going to run out in the street and get in the police car? That oh, was she was just trying. I was just trying to turn your windshield wipers she on in case just... it rained. All right. Sammy, let's go. Go ahead and get up. So let's go. Meet a Yeah, you let's go. Because we're going to go for a couple yeah. hours. Huh? 72 Sammy, hour hold? Wait a minute, I want my food. We'll bring it. 515. Sammy, you got open container even. Uh, it's tea. Oh. It was cool. You, you, you know what? Sit down for a second. Okay. Sit down. Do We're going to figure this out. Ah, you stepped on my foot. I have a broken Shh. toe. Shh. Nail. Do you want to, like, get out of this situation? Yeah. You do? You're going to act like an adult if I uh -huh. let you go? I am an adult. I'll be 50 in January. Okay. You need to act like one. That's the difference. I've known you for a long time. You've been cool with me. You're a little bit drunk today. We've got a. Drunk? Hang on, let me just explain it. We got a bunch of calls on you tonight, and today. Been Sammy, you know I'm going to treat you fair. We're going to stay. You got to go to the station and dry out. Call. All right, Sammy. All right. So what are we going to do with her? She's really disturbing everybody's peace right now. You know, we need to kind of remove her from the situation. I think maybe we'll just give her a ride somewhere, and drop yeah, her off. I think Sammy's part get her of the problem. With he's her he's the main instigator for the whole situation. Yep. He's, he's completely drunk. He always she, she doesn't really meet our requirements to take her out to the hospital, I don't think, for this situation. She's just very boisterous, likes to make a scene, as you can yeah. hear in the background. So, I mean, yeah. it's just, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and cut her loose. All right. All right. Come on, you got to get off the street, huh? Okay, Marianne. Marianne, behave yourself. Please be good, okay? We don't want to get called on you again tonight, all right? Don't worry about it. I'm not on the street acting like that anymore. Okay. Not even any. You're a sweet person. We don't want to see you getting hurt. Your car's running. Someone might steal them. You're right. You're right. Well, somebody somebody shouldn't get in them. Like, you know, you're going to get in trouble you do that again. So, nice day, okay? Okay. Bye, hon. Have a good night. What? We're more homeless in our city. Unbelievable. She has a short fuse on her. Now she's going to get the bus. Hopefully right. she'll catch it into another town tonight, maybe. Hopefully so, because we've had repeated calls, and hopefully this will resolve it. Yep. And we don't have any more. Well, all right. See you in the next one. All right. I'm with the Special Investigations Division. We uh, typically work street crimes, narcotics, and vice. But due to the recent hurricane, uh, we're out doing a little bit of a high-profile patrol. Uh, there's quite a bit of the county is without power. People's not sure what's going on in the neighborhoods and they get out and drive around and we kind of shoo them back to their houses and back to the neighborhoods. It's got a headlight out. It's got a tail light out. This is one of our problem areas. We're just going to check him out, see who he is and what he's up to. How you doing? Driver's license and vehicle registration? Hello, sir.
How old are you, partner? 24. 24, you have any identification on you? Yes, sir. I'm just driving a drunk man home, sir. Which one? That one. There you go. Go ahead and sit back here for me. You guys just hang out for a minute. Passenger, stay in the car. He's, he's gonna probably puke. How old is he? Him, he's 23. Driver, come here. The reason I'm stopping you, you got a headlight out and you got a tail light out. Yeah, I'm working on those. The headlight, I gotta get a cover for it, but mm -hmm. I just got the tail light and all of that today. So mm -hmm. I was planning on putting it in. Of course, not today, tomorrow. Okay. Either than the, your uh, vomiting friend here, anything else in your car you wanna tell me about? I have nothing in my car. There's no open containers of alcohol in your vehicle? Who's he? Nemo. Nemo? Like the fish? Captain. Captain Nemo. Aye, aye. His parents bought a house and are letting us stay there to fix it up. This guy here, just yes. your roommate? Nemo, you feeling all right? I work too damn hard. Yeah? Yeah, we've been working all day long. Where do you work at? Uh, right now, we're an electrician. This is my night out. I went beyond my limit. Now I'm stupid. When you bust your ass so damn hard for so many months, one night, tonight's my night. You guys don't have any narcotics or anything in the vehicle, right? No. Okay. What'd you say? No, sir. No. I'm Do you have a problem if I take a look? That's right. Step over here. Help your buddy. Go ahead and put your hands down. Step out for me. How much you had to drink? I've been drinking for quite a while, yes, sir. You've been drinking for quite a while, huh? All right, step over here for it's me. Water. It is. Want to it no, that's fine. I want to search it. How old are you, son? 24, sir. Nothing in the car I need to know about, guys? Nobody smokes marijuana or anything? No, I work. I bust my ass. This oh, smells like weed. There ain't no weed in the car? No, sir. What about this stuff under your seat? Uh, Put your hands behind your back. Where did that come from? Under your seat. I didn't put it there. This yours, Nemo? You said you found marijuana. Right. Sorry, we don't smoke. I drink once every every other month, maybe. Right. But tonight's my night. I'm drinking because I bust my ass. So every you don't know whose weed it is. Excuse me? So you don't know whose weed it is. I'm sorry, but as far as I'm aware of, none of us smoke weed. Okay. Do me a favor. I don't want to see you fall down and hit your head. Go ahead and have a seat in the passenger seat, okay? All right? Go ahead and have a seat. Let me explain something to you. I've been doing this long enough to know when I'm being lied to. You know, I could go ahead and put you in jail because you lied to me. Or you can be honest with me and I can be honest with you. And we can work it out and I can write you a summons and kick you loose. But if you're going to play games with me, all right, then I'm just going to do everything the hard way. You understand what I'm saying? All right, just so we're straight with each other, all right? Who's weed? I didn't even know that that was in there. That was in my pocket. This was in your pocket? Yes, but you didn't know the stuff was under your seat? No, I did not. Okay, whose is it? I don't honestly know. Who leaves that much weed in somebody's car? Maybe somebody I would be giving a ride to later because I was planning on going back up there and picking up more drunks. And they're gonna put it under your seat? Does that sound plausible to you? It does if I leave people in the car like I have because I pick people up and drop them off. I am like a taxi. When you first started to get out of the car, I watched you reach down. I thought you were trying to move the seat back to get out. No. What were you reaching down there for? I was not reaching down there for anything. Okay. Well, let's do it this way. You're under arrest, and you're going to be going to jail for possession of marijuana. We'll weigh it up. If it's over 20 grams, you're going to be going to jail for felony possession of marijuana. Okay? We're straight with each other now? Stay right there. That's a good look. That's well, a this was under the driver's seat. And this, he throws down on the ground. He was the only one standing on that side of the car. And uh, he, uh, he says this was his, but this wasn't. That's what so, I say, too. Especially if that's over 20 grams. Oh, it is. Looks like an ounce. It looks like it. It's a good thing that you're out here trying to be a designated driver, but 
on the flip side, you can't be riding around dirty with stuff in your car like that. And you can say all day long, it's not mine. All right, but right. there's not to be potheads out here that's gonna leave 300 bucks worth of pot under your front seat where you go driving a bunch of drunks around. Okay. Unless I don't know it's there and I'm giving them a ride. I, I don't know. Okay, you can argue with me until you're blue in the face and you're gonna change my opinion, all right? But right. it's not my opinion that matters. All right, you'll have a day in court for that. All right, this deputy here's gonna give you a ride. If you want to walk, head out. If I can walk down the street, bro, I'll get it right down the bar. Right yeah. There, bro. I can call a cab from there, whatever. Y'all right on, brother. Y'all be good evening, man. Earth to Nemo. Who do you want to call, buddy? Man, I'll just sleep here. Well, okay. uh, I can't let you sleep here, Nemo. Okay, you can't let me sleep here. No, we'll get you taken care of. Let's we'll see if we can find somebody to come and get Nemo. <laughs> Nemo needs uh, some special TLC. He's hurting tonight. Bush, I got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, covers code 3. Thanks, Ted. David 25, 14, 10, transmit on tag 2.